We are having some engine troubles. Um, it keeps cutting out, so I don't really know what to suggest. So I've just had a little play about with carburetor. It's running. How long for and how well? I don't know. McDonald's. Thank you. And the doggies have had a McDonald's too. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel if you've been here before. If you haven't, I'm Oliver and I'm Leanne and we are the Travels of Ethel Levant. And today we are wandering around Flamborough Head. I think it's safe to say that Ethel is not welcome here for overnight camping. So if you're thinking of popping to Flamborough Head, to have a little bit of a cheap park up in a car park and fall asleep here for the night. Not permitted, no chance. We have some fun facts for you that we've just found out about Flamborough Head. As we were on our way into this car park, we passed an old tower and obviously we're at the new lighthouse. Now. So that is the old lighthouse. It's actually one of the oldest surviving lighthouses um, in England. It was built in 1669, which, really, that's quite interesting. That. So, quite a little walk around that on its way out. It just looked like a tower on its way in. So in 1779, under a bright moon, the Battle of Flamborough Head took place between an American Continental Navy squadron and two British, British escort vessels protecting a large merchant convoy. Uh, the new lighthouse at Flamborough was actually built in 1806 and cost a whopping £8,000, which in 1806 I imagine quite a lot of money. Over the years, there's been several different shipwrecks that have occurred at Flamborough Head, one of which was Katarina, I think she's called. She was the earliest recorded vessel ever to be a shipwreck here, and that took place because of a violent storm in 1348. Interestingly enough, between 1770 and 1806, there were a shipwreck every three months at Flamborough Head. Um, a total of 175 ships, so if you were sailing, you'd avoid this place like plague. <laughs> Here at Flamborough Head, there is some great facilities. There's free toilets for all to use, uh, which are quite, quite clean and all right. And then there is a family restaurant and pub and like a little sea shop, it's quite cute. and Oliver running down all these treacherous steps so I don't even know if I'll see him again he's going to have a look because he's not been down there but as a kid I have been there down there tons so my mum and my dad poor things used to walk up and down the steps with hundreds and bags of buckets and spades and crab lines and towels and picnics I don't know how they did it with me and my sister um, and we used to spend full days down there just rock pooling and crab fishing and then we had it all to carry back up and I can remember as a child by the time we were ready to come back up I'd just had enough I've just had a little walk down now to Flambra Beach uh, I think that's what it's called anyway um, it's like this little cove there's nobody here now it's about half past six maybe at night something like that I've got place to myself so I'm just going to go play with camera and uh, try and get some nice footage I feel a bit 
bit bad now because I've been sat waiting for Oliver for I don't even know how long so I've not timed it but for a little while and I have been busy just talking to people I've just met a lovely family from Pontefract um, who have come on a day trip so they've just been saying hi to the dogs Marvel and, uh, Mabel and Martha both really enjoyed it but Oliver's still not back like do you think that's Oliver? I'm not sure Leanne's obviously been here before. She knew what was happening with these stairs. That you have to come down to get to the beach. Because I'm coming back up from now. I'm fucking knackered. <laughs> it's absolutely relentless, they never end. And they're not just normal stairs, they're about the same size as my waist. <sighs> never again. And the wonder of returns. <laughs> I'm not good. <laughs> And that is our quick tour around Flamborough Head. As we were talking about earlier, behind me is what's known as the Chalk House. Now, the Chalk House is one of the oldest surviving lighthouses in Britain. It's actually oh, nearly 400 years old. They've moved the lighthouse now. You can't see it, it's up here somewhere. Um, but yeah, this was the oldest one and still standing today, 400 years later. We've just pulled up here and we've just come for a little bit of a stretcher's legs and come across Flamborough Cra Castle, which I didn't even know were here. Um, I don't know how you can get in or if you can get in, but this here is Flamborough Cra Castle. How cool! Me and Leanne have just been to Chipping Art and got some fish and chips. And what I've noticed is, voted the UK's number one fish and chip shop. So, 149. We're holding you to it. We're going to see what you like. We'll leave you a review. We have just come to Bridlington now to sit and eat our fish and chips on seafront. 149, actually, top notch this, really nice. Bang on. That's where we're going to leave it today. So if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. It costs you nothing and it's always appreciated. Drop us a comment. Let us know where your favourite coastline is. And we are here for the weekend. So we're venturing off tomorrow for something else. Catch us on the next one. See where we end up. Mm -hmm.